Hello there, my name is Rob and Download Festival was supposed to start today, but it's not. Which, uh, it's it's not. It, it's not on because of the coronavirus. Which is, is cool, it's totally cool. Uh, it's fine, I'm fine. It's cool, it's fine. It's not fine. So yes, Download Festival along with every other music festival in the UK has now been cancelled for 2020, which sucks. So this video is me talking about the things I was excited for for Download Festival 2020 and how incredibly excited I am for Download Festival 2021. So let's talk about the headliners. First off, Kiss. I wasn't terribly excited for Kiss. They're okay. They did that one song about Detroit Rock City and... Oh. Rock and Roll All Night. Rock and Roll All Night. Yeah, I really don't know Kiss that well. Um, but Iron Maiden were also playing and I love Iron Maiden. They were my favourite band growing up. I've got all of their albums. I've seen them so many times and I was excited to see them at Download Festival even though they've already played Download Festival like 50 times. I don't care. But I was most excited for System of Down obviously because because this is no doubt, they are fantastic and I've only seen them once before, which is to my own detriment, and I was so excited. Uh, but yeah, they're not playing because Dan Festival isn't on. Which is fine. The bands I was excited for that I hadn't seen before were The Offspring, The Menzingers and The Distillers. Basically a lot of pop punk bands that I absolutely love and just haven't seen before. Um, yeah, I'm a big pop punk fan. Um, I love all of those bands, mostly from video game soundtracks. Um, it sucks that I've not seen them before and I'm going to have to wait even longer for them now. <sighs> Um, the bands that I have seen before and was really excited for are Ailstorm, because Pirate Metal is awesome. Um, to my shame, I once saw Ailstorm play at Hammerfest, I think it was, when I was like 15, and I absolutely hated them. It's because I went with my girlfriend and my girlfriend's family at the time, who didn't like me and I didn't like them, uh, and they didn't let me drink because I was underage, but they still insisted that we stand for 12 hours and listen to every single band that played, even though most of them were crap. And then when it came to Ailstorm, I was just in such a bad mood, and I hated them. And now I love them, and I'm just like, I've seen them before, why can I not, why didn't I enjoy it at the time? I was also excited for Baby Metal because they're amazing and they prove that heavy metal doesn't need to be all dark and grungy and about depression and stuff. And anyone out there who doesn't like them, that's cool. Anyone out there who brags about not liking them, that's not cool, that makes you a dick. Baby Metal are amazing and I was so excited to see them again and I can't. What am I going to miss most about Download Festival? It's the people. The people are what make Download Festival so amazing. The idea that you're in a crowd of 80,000 potential friends and just getting drunk and at 3am chatting to randoms by the toilets because you're just both awake and you like the same stuff and you just chat for ages and then you never see them again. It's so good and I'm going to miss that so much. Now the question on everyone's mind is will Download Festival 2021 be the exact same lineup as 2020? They're just going to carry it over. Is it going to be the same lineup except for the bands that can't make it and they'll replace them? Or will it just be a totally new lineup overall? Uh, personally, I think it's just going to be a totally new lineup. I think they're going to leave 2020 as just dead and buried. Let's not try and bring it back for the next year, it'll just be a bit awkward. Uh, any bands that do happen to play both of them, I imagine, will just be small ones that will have been at both anyway. But either way, regardless, I don't care. I am so excited for 2021. It'll have been two years in the making. My excitement will be through the roof. I will be annoying everybody by talking about it forever as soon as it starts getting announced. Now, there is a theory that live music won't be back until late 2021 and that Download Festival 2021 won't exist at all either. I am fully ignoring that theory and just blocking it out of my mind until anybody proves otherwise because I don't want to just be sad for two years knowing that festivals won't happen. Because it's going to be on, it's going to be amazing, and that's it. I'm just going to stay in this land of denial. Because <laughs> I'm really excited for it. But until then, grab a beer. I haven't got a beer I'm recording this in the morning. Uh, and enjoy the virtual Download Festival that Download Festival is putting on over these few days on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and Instagram and all of these things. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to be watching it because I, I just need some, some happiness in my life. Uh, I'll see you there. I won't. It's virtual. But enjoy it anyway. Thank you so much for watching, my name's Rob, if you like this video please do click like, click subscribe, all of the nice things, put in the comments how excited you were for Download Festival 2020, uh, and I'll see you in another video talking about something else. <laughs>